Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally get our next major release of the Edge Web Browser for Desktop version 113, which Microsoft started pushing out late yesterday in my region on the 5th of May 2023. Now, very similar to Google Chrome, as I did post on earlier this week, um, there's not too much when it comes to front-facing features. So if you were expecting major updates and features and UI changes, I think you are going to be disappointed with version 113. And I think this is because of the four-week release cycle. And um, they have scaled down quite a lot when they do push out um, new features because of the quicker release cycle. And really at its heart and core, version 113 is a security update. Now, um, 11 vulnerabilities have been addressed um, on the security side of things. So as always, um, um, if you want to double check that you have this update because your browser is your first line of defense, as many of you would know who do view this channel. And this process will update your browser automatically to version 113.0.1774.35. So that's the latest version and build. And um, just to go through these security updates, um, it's very similar to Google Chrome. Um, Chrome had 15, but Edge gets 11. And two of those security fixes are for the actual Edge browser, and none of them are for the um, open source Chromium project, which the browser is based on. And um, there are no um, high risk vulnerabilities that have been addressed um, with this latest um, security fix. As mentioned earlier this week, we get a couple of mediums and lows, but nonetheless, um, always important to double check your browser is up to date, especially when we are dealing with 11 security vulnerabilities that have been addressed because it is your first line of defense to the online world and there are also no mention of any zero-day exploits that have already been exploited in the wild. Now with that all out the way, uh, just to focus on some of these improvements. Now um, if we do head back uh, to the uh, settings and this time we head over to privacy search and services, as many of you would know who do use Edge, we get our enhanced security mode which gives you the balanced mode which is recommended and strict uh, which adds um, basically a strict layer of security to the browser. Now there are improvements to enhanced security mode and in this release uh, Microsoft says um, the updates to enhanced security mode include consolidating the security level settings to balanced and strict mode. So you can uh, choose between balanced which is recommended and strict as mentioned and uh, um, you also have the, the choice um, obviously to turn this feature off if you don't want to use it in the browser. So that's improvements to enhanced security mode. Now, if you are using Edge on Mac OS, um, there are a couple of uh, changes that Microsoft has mentioned in the release notes. Um, they say that Microsoft Edge for Mac OS will start using a new updater named Edge Updater. This change only affects Microsoft Edge on Mac OS. So if you are uh, using Edge, um, Edge on that platform, just take note of that change. And then uh, um, if you are using the PDF viewer, like lots of users do of Edge, uh, the Edge PDF viewer, um, there is a new policy for uh, PDF view settings, which mainly applies to um, uh, system administrators. But nonetheless, I'm just going to mention it because it is a feature update for this release. Um, Microsoft says the restore PDF view policy lets admins control PDF view recovery in Microsoft Edge. Um, when enabled or if the policy isn't configured, Microsoft Edge will recover the last state of PDF view and land users on the section where they ended reading in the last session. So as mentioned, that's quite a mouthful, but mainly um, aimed towards system admins. Restore PDF view policy now available in Edge version 113. And over and above that, um, there are another four new policies and no mention of any deprecated policies. And if we just head over quickly to uh, the actual uh, release schedule for Microsoft Edge, just to mention when the next stable release will make its way um, to our desktops. Uh, let's just scroll down and yeah, we can see if we head to the release calendar, um, Edge version 114 will be rolling out uh, the week of the 1st of June. So the 1st of June, we can expect to see Edge version 114 rolling out, which will be the next stable release. And that's more or less, as mentioned, not too many front-facing features. That's more or less what's new. I have had a quick look um, around the browser. I'm not noticing any new settings or any major changes, but sometimes after a day or two of fiddling around after these um, releases do roll out, I do maybe spot one or two changes. And obviously 
I will post and let you know accordingly if that does happen. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.